This video is presented by the EA Creator Network. Big shout out to them for letting me capture early Madden 23 footage for you guys. Quick disclaimer, everything you are about to view is a work in progress. EA decided to add a bunch of new QB releases into Madden 23. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys which new QBs get what releases. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys which new QBs get the best new QB releases. Each and every year, I feel like this is a big topic in the Madden scene. It's honestly what QB gets the best release. Uh, last year, we had Gen 3 and Slinger 1. And, you know, it was a mix in the community. You either love Gen 3 for those deep balls and throws on the run, or you love the Slinger 1 to beat the blitz and, you know, throw it intermediate passes. And I remember last year, you know, there were a bunch of blogs and articles stating which QB got what release. And I just, you know, feel like I should put this video out now so people could come back to this all year long and, you know, get a grasp and visualize what QB release, you know, is the best. So in this video, I added all the best QBs into one team, the Packers. And before we even get into that, I want to show you guys all the new QB throw styles in this game. So obviously we know Ari Rod has Slinger 1. They added Slinger 2, which is Mahomes, Slinger 3, Slinger 4, Slinger 5, and trust me guys, there's a lot of these, Slinger 6, Slinger 7, Slinger 8, all the way up to Slinger 9. Obviously we have our generic 1, generic 2, and generic 3 releases still. But now with traditional, we get all the way up to traditional 7, which is honestly pretty crazy. Um, they definitely went in depth like crazy this year to add all these new QB releases. So guys, just just assume that we're gonna get some new legend QBs with new QB releases that we've never seen before. And they're not too crazy, you know, they are pretty similar to what they are before. Maybe just an extra motion or them taking out a motion. So QBs like A-Rod and Tom Brady did not change the release. They do have the same releases still. But QBs like Pat Mahomes, Lamar Jackson, Josh Allen, Matt Stafford, Kyler Murray, Joe Burrow, Justin Herbert, and finally Joe Burrow all have new releases in the game. So if you if you peeped, you now know what all those QB releases are. I already forgot, but you know, if you want to rewind, you can see what they have. But now it's time to show you guys what these QB releases are looking like. Also, guys, keep in mind certain QBs do have gunslinger slash pass lead elite, while others do not. Example would be like I think Stafford had set feet lead. Obviously, see right here, Mahomes has pass lead elite. So QBs, you know, keep that in mind. They don't, they're not all on a fair playing field as in terms of abilities. But here we go. This is Mahomes' new release. And you see right here, it is very reminiscent of his old release. Um, it doesn't look too different. But there are times where, you know, it does pop off and look different. For example, when I'm going to throw deep and going to throw on the run, you will see these releases are completely different. It's right there. I've gone intermediate. I've gone short. I'm trying to hit this uh, deep pass right here. And obviously, I threw a book, but that's not the premise of this video. His deep release definitely is solid, but I mean, it's still kind of that same animation where he, you know, kind of flicks it. So I wouldn't really recommend you using Mahomes. He's not the best for his QB release. If you are throwing on the run, he has he is actually pretty solid. As you see right here, um, you know, we've known Mahomes for his throw on the run release. And yeah, man, that's pretty much Mahomes. It's not the best release. We've known that for a couple years now. It is decent, and you can make some crazy plays happen on the run. See right here, guys, this is going to be Lamar Jackson's new release. And you see right here, it still looks the same, honestly. There might be a few things different. And, you know, that's what I have noticed is, like, certain things are different in this game compared to before. For the most part, you know, pretty similar release to last year. So Lamar actually does not have any passing ability. So if his release does look a little, you know takes a little longer that's the reason why but you know it is very reminiscent of his release last year you know it is it's not bad you know obviously i have one specific qb release that i'd love to use for the rest of the year and i'll break that down at the end for the most part you know lamar is solid especially if you are a big lamar fan right here i'm gonna go deep and obviously there's no qb pressure so i mean you can't really tell if i'm getting pressured or not but that deep release looked pretty solid if you ask me and this finally is his throw on the run, and you can judge for yourself. It's also pretty solid. For whatever reason, it's showing Lamar Jackson instead of Josh Allen. But keep in mind that I think he does have pass lead elite or slinger. It's one of the two. I want to say it's pass lead elite. And yeah, he had the, one of the biggest changes for QB releases this year. I played a few games with him online um, versus some other people, and it was all right. You know, um, his intermediate definitely does, you know, take a little while. You could get a nice, you know, not... You could get a nasty windup with him on intermediate throws or even uh, somewhat deep throws. But the further you go, you'll see 
This guy is insane. See right here, this guy's release on deep passes is actually insane. He pretty much flicks the ball just like Aaron Rodgers. I'll show a replay real quick. If you want to see what I'm talking about, look at that flick of the wrist. He literally just flicks the ball like it's nothing. Um, what I what I really think about Josh Allen is, you know, he's not, like I said, he's not the greatest on the flats and underneath throws. But once he gets a nice card with like Gunslinger plus Passy Elite, this might be the QB for, you know, a, a long while in mud. What I think is he's like a reverse Aaron Rodgers. See right there, a nice little flick once more. And what I mean by reverse Aaron Rodgers is you know how Aaron Rodgers kind of gets a deep windup on deep throws and he's really good on underneath throws? Well, Josh Allen's the complete and utter opposite. You know, Josh Allen gets that nice flick on deep throws and he's not the greatest on underneath throws, but it really is what you, you know, preference. If you like going deep, you're gonna definitely like using Josh Allen. See right here, that's just a nice flick. But if you like going underneath, then you are gonna use a rod guys this is what burrow's looking like see right here we're gonna throw underneath and yeah that's that's a nasty wind up for underneath pass keep in mind he does not have slinger slash pass lead elite i think it's set feet lead so you always got to keep that in mind but you know it's not bad intermediate throw looks solid definitely when he gets like slinger or pass lead elite or maybe even both he'll be a good option um but for me like i said i have a rod in mind and I have uh, Josh Allen in mind when, you know, later on in the year, we get those nice 99 overall cards. Right here, here is a uh, Burrow on the run, and it's pretty similar to other QBs. Zig route for Burrow, and, you know, it's not that bad. Finally, we're going to throw this vertical crosser deep into the play, and we'll just see how this release is. Actually pretty solid for a deep ball release without having Slinger or Pass Lead Elite. So you definitely could see the theme that, like, a lot of QBs in this game um, you know, they're very, you know, serviceable without, you know, having that best tier uh, release. Right here, guys, we're going to show you guys Herbert's release. You know, it is similar to last year. He has that like Peyton Manning type Dan Marino, old Dan Marino release. Right here, we're going to go throw a wheel route. And yeah, you just see them. I mean, they all look pretty similar to me. I know if someone wants to really nerd it out, they're going to time it. Right there, that was that release I'm talking about from last year. It has a new name, but you know, there are aspects of it that show like, I mean, this is a very usable release if you ask me. Obviously, it is a big difference when you get pressure in your face, but I just wanna show you guys what these releases are talking about. Under pressure releases too, you know, the back foot throws, those all matter too, but for now, I, I felt like I just couldn't get the ball out in practice mode. So that's why I'm here right now showing you guys these releases. Right here, we're gonna throw on the run and see what he could do boom very similar throw i'm noticing a lot of these qbs have similar throw on the runs and that was herbert for you so coming to our last qbs we're going to use stafford and then we finally after that are going to be able to use kyler murray right here this is stafford's release and those flat routes definitely take a minute but you'll see stafford has like a nice unique release just like a lot of qbs in this game do and right there boom that flat route definitely took a little minute so like I said, you know, all QBs, they, they could get the ball out, but you know, certain QBs are gonna be way more favorable than others. Right there, that was a nice deep ball release. Throw this corner out right here, see how it looks. And yeah, that was a nice corner, bar, corner route release. Gonna go corner out left side right here, throw it on the cut. And that definitely took a little while. Finally, we're gonna go throw on the run to the right side. And yeah, similar throw on the run to you know, all these past QBs we've been trying out. Vertical's deep down crosser, and it's the same thing, that little flick of the arm that he has. Finally, guys, we're gonna go with Kyler Murray. I believe he does have Gunslinger this year, but they definitely changed his release. You see right here, it does take a nice second to get that ball out. It's not that Gen 3 release we're all used to and that we all love. They definitely uh, went in and revamped him. I guess you could say nerfed him. That, not, that was a solid deep ball release right there. But like I said, there's no pressure in my face. I'm gonna hit this left flat right here or out route and you know not the best not the worst definitely would not you know recommend using this release right here we're gonna throw this wheel route takes a nice second to get that wheel route out we'll go crosser right here deep into the play towards the sidelines and yeah that ball takes a good second to get out and finally we'll go throw in the run and see what he's looking like for throwing the run because this is probably what you're gonna want to do and that'll look nice fast quick release on the run and that's Kyler Murray's but by far the best QB release in the game. You could judge all the other ones where you want to judge them. The best one for me, and it could be because he has both Pass Italy and Slinger. Man, A-Rod just feels so smooth. 
And it's just like A-Rod will probably be the forever GOAT of QB releases, if you ask me. It's just such a fast release. It's what he's known for. And, you know, in a game like this, you're going to need to get the ball out very fast. And this guy is your guy, Aaron Rodgers. See right here, boom, throwing the run. Looking really clean and crisp, if you ask me. Um, some of his deep balls definitely may take a little time to get there. It's right here. We're going to just try to wait until this develops down the field. And yeah, that takes a while, but you know, that's the trade off you're going to get for all those beautiful passes, uh, intermediate and short. So that's been some of the new QB releases in Madden 23. Let me know what you guys think, what QB releases you're going to try out in Mutt or Regs. Obviously, disclaimer, some of these QBs did not have Slinger, Pass It Elite, or even a combo of both. Just keep that in mind that, you know, these QB releases could be a little skewed in Regs. I definitely should have put them all with a uh, Slinger, Pass It Elite, one or the other. But if you are a regs player, you know, you're, you won't have that on some of these QBs. I might do another video in the future similar to this, but instead of, you know, just showing you guys, I'll rank them. But for the timing, I have so much to find for you guys gameplay wise. And I feel like that's more worthy than, you know, just doing some extensive research on QB releases. Till next time, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.